If you've just bought the new Audi Q5 TSFIE, i.e. the plug-in hybrid electric version of the Q5, you may be excited to plug in your charging cord, which you may only have as 120 volts currently in your garage until you change it over to a 240. I'm just gonna give you a couple of little bits of advice here. If you look in the manual that came with the charging cable, this information is not in there. So the first time you use your charger, it'll have two adapters, a 120 volt adapter and a 240 volt adapter. There's some confusion that we use 110 volts in Canada. Uh, we don't, we use 120. There's a cap on the end, which you just pull off and slide that in. And it, it's a little bit fussy. And I'll come to that again later, but you have to have this little brass screw on this plug line up with the hole that's in the adapter for it to work there. It just kind of locks in, that closes, and then you'll see that the hole in the back lines up with that. This then can either sit in its own frame, or you may want to just have it temporarily mounted or at 120. It has to go directly into that, no extension cords at all. Very clear about that draws a lot of current through there. You don't want to be drawing current and having resistance in an extension cord. It takes a long time to charge your vehicle off of that. And it'll draw probably the first of the full 15 amps, which is generally what our house current is allowed to draw on a single circuit. But if you press the power button on here, the display will show a drop into, it'll say go from 100 to 50%. And that's a pretty important number because what that means is that that will keep you below 15 amps. It'll mean it'll take longer to charge, but it won't overload your housing electrical system. This is like one line, tiny line in the Audi manual, and it's not even mentioned at all in the uh, charging book that comes with the, the charger here. So uh, very frustrating. I did have to phone the dealer and the dealer eventually got back to me that that was the um, solution to using 110 volts uh, in a, in a plug-in situation. We didn't have a lot of amperage. In my garage, I've only got 30 amp service and to bring in 40 would be a lot of work. And so what I can do is just again, push that home button on the Audi charging block and it drops the demand to half. And so I'll be actually pulling 20 amps at 240 volts instead of the available 40 amps that it could run on. It'll take a little bit longer to charge, but uh, I don't have to do any um, special wiring that way. That's part one. Part two, I'm getting the 240 volt line put into my garage right now. And so when it came to replacing the 120 volt plug with the 240, it's not very intuitive. Like you pull this lever open. Okay, that seems to make sense. And when you pull, it won't, it won't come. You can mess with it any way you want. You can squeeze it, you can play with it like that. It doesn't budge. And you think, what, what is wrong with this thing? So the secret is, is that you actually have to close it back up again, almost all the way, and then play with it a little back and forth. And it pulls out. It's the damnedest thing. You'd swear there's something broken about it, but that's how it's designed. Then you can get the 240 plug, <clears throat> slip that in. Again, it's not, it doesn't quite go as smooth as you think. You kind of have to play with that little flapper thing again. And bring it down. Come on, down in. I suppose if you did this all the time, it would be easy, but generally speaking, you're only ever going to do it once. Then it locks in, little brass screws lined up with the hole in there, and you're good to go. This one's going to go in the mount, and eventually I'll get that plugged into a new 240 plug in there. That is not mentioned anywhere. The little charging thing comes with it. It would be frustrating beyond belief if you uh, don't have access to an Audi dealer to get help. I couldn't find anything on, online in the uh, interwebs when I did a search on it. So hopefully you'll find this video useful. Thanks. Bye-bye.